I think the title says it all. How do we use the facilities on a sailboat? Well, let's find out. Come on downstairs with me and we'll show you. If you enjoy this video, consider clicking the subscribe button and follow our adventures sailing around the world. Hi, we're the James family. Are you sick of your day-to-day -day life? Ever thought about doing something different? Well, we did just that. We bought an unfinished aluminium catamaran and we're fixing her up as we sail around the world. Come along for the journey and click subscribe. Daddy? Mommy? Charlie? Okay, so today we're going to be going over the toilets on board, the facilities, and our future plans for the boat. So come on downstairs to our port side. We're just going to go down the stairs right now. And in the middle of the boat, we have our toilet and shower. Now on this boat, we only have one electric toilet and one shower, and they are both right here. This right here is our door. So, and this is how we lock our door, it's just a little clip right there. We just unclip it and then we close the door. Bye! And to lock it open when we're in seas, it's just that snap there. Okay, so this is our toilet right here. So a few things to know before we go into the toilet. So it is a marine toilet. Anything that goes into the toilet has already come through our body or the associated paperwork with it. There's nothing else that goes down this. Number two, only use the amount of squares that you need. So about three to four squares go into the toilet. We don't overload the toilet with a lot of them. So whenever we have guests come on board, this is always an important stop of the tour to let us show people how to use the toilet um, because each one is sort of different and it's not normal household toilet where you can use a lot of toilet paper because if you use a lot of toilet paper there becomes a blockage and then we have to unblock it. It's a crappy job to unblock the toilet. So this is it right here. This is a 12 volt electric toilet. We are absolutely in love with it because the last boat we had, we had manual and we had, always had to pump it. So we feel really spoiled that we have an electric one. So we use salt water to flush this toilet. So it takes it from the outside and that's what we use to flush. So we don't use any of our precious fresh water on board to flush the toilet. Um, and how we flush it is by these two buttons over here. So this one we press to fill. And that's it filling there. You can only press this button twice. After that, it doesn't fill anymore. And then to empty the toilet, we just press this button. And it'll fill a little bit more. And then flush out. So with this here, we're very lucky that we press this twice and then after that it will stop. So it prevents anyone from accidentally overfilling the bowl, which is really great for us because we have a two-year-old on board that we are toilet training at the moment. So there's no possible way that she can overfill the bowl. So truthfully with this toilet, we are not 100% stoked with it. <laughs> we'll be real honest with you guys. Um, really like that it's electric but the shape of the ball as you can see it's flat and then the hole is at the back there so what that means for business wise is that everything goes onto the porcelain instead of down into a hole and gets sucked out so we always find that we have to fill the ball first and then do our business and then get it to go out or flush it um with the toilet that we are ordering to do the other hole with we have made sure that the bowl is like a u-shaped and at the bottom of the bowl is the is the hole so that you're doing your business directly into the hole um yeah that's the one thing that we're really not stoked with for this toilet we're super excited that we have 
that we have electric and it's not manual but if we were to be very picky we're not super stoked on um the shape of it yeah so that's that's the honest truth um i'm not i'm not going into too much specifics but you can use your um imagination from there of what i'm talking about and i've got a little bit of distraction right here The other thing that is in here is our shower. Now, when we were looking at boats, one thing that was very important to us was finding a boat that had a shower separate from the toilet. Because whenever you use the shower, you always get the toilet paper wet, which sucks. And I absolutely love the shower because it's super roomy and we've got a lot of shelf space and storage. Now, we added a few extras to the shower. Um, these baskets are from Kmart, $6 each, and then we silicon them on here. So you can see from the glass side, a bit of silicon there and there. This uses fresh water. This does use our precious resource. So on board, we have 600 liters of water, 300 aside. And the thing about on a yacht, we wet ourselves, turn off the water, lather up, then turn back on the water just to preserve as much water as possible. Um, and then the other thing is that when the bottom gets full, our sump doesn't automatically drain. So we have a button here, this one, and this is to turn on the pump to drain the shower. You can hear it going. and it turns it off. Uh, and that takes the water directly overboard. The other thing about this boat is the sink. So our sink drains. There's a tube in here, drains down and into the shower. So we just have one through hole fitting for the two of them. And that just drains straight into the shower. And then when we pump the shower water overboard, it all goes overboard. We've got storage behind here. And then we'll take you upstairs and over to the other side. So if we come up here, um, in the saloon area here, the cyclone put a bit of a halt to all the sewing projects, which put a halt to the outside cushions. But this is the last one that we are doing. Those are the two cushions for it. And before we go downstairs to the other side, let's show you the outside cushions and how well they're coming. Just go outside here. And underneath the mattress is our cushion. So they're coming out really well and we are very pleased with um, the red color we thought it might be a bit too vibrant but it's turning out to be a really nice color we're, we're really really loving the red on the outside covers so the last cover is for over here side and down to the starboard hull. So we'll just head into the galley and down these stairs. And now this starboard hull is Sam and I's hull. Um, we have the back cabin and forward we are using as storage. So let's head forward. So we've claimed this cabin as um, storage. The opposite side on the port side, it's complete mirror image and that is our guest room. 
But this side, we've taken the mattress out. We're repurposing the foam from the mattress for uh, cushions for a skipper's chair. And then all of this is storage. So right now it's a bit cluttered. We've got some sails in here. We've got the swim ladder. Um, it's a bit crowded because the cyclone was here and we needed to put everything somewhere. But the thing I wanted to show you guys is forward here. So if we open this up, and click that there, we've got a porta potty here. Now we don't have any holding tanks on this boat for the electric toilet, but the way that we comply is that we have two porta potties which have a holding tank for themselves here. Our plan is to get rid of one of the porta potties this one in this side specifically. We're going to be changing this porta potty into an electric toilet and then a holding tank will be going on to the opposite side of this wall. So that is the plan for here and there's a lot of space as well. So there's extra space there. All this will be coming out. Now the reason we wanted to swap this one out for an electric toilet is because we want to make this hall a owner's version. So our bedroom being at the back there and then a toilet being up here. So Charlie and I are on our way to the Sunday market, so we stopped to use the facilities and I thought why not show you guys what the facilities are like here at the marina. So we will key in and this is the ladies room. So as we walk in, this line over here is all toilets, there's another row of sinks over there and then this row is all showers. And then the last stall over here is also a large shower as well. This is a pretty neat feature, this area. So people leave things here to give away. So there's often clothes here. There's often like food packets unopened. Um, if you don't need it and you wanna give it away, you can just bring it to the bathroom and um, put it in the basket. I once came to the bathroom once, I told Sam, I'm going to go use the toilet, and I came back with a big box of coffee, and Sam's just like, I thought you said you were going to the toilet, and I was like, I did, <laughs> came back with coffee, <laughs> but um, that's a really good feature, so it's not only this one, um, to leave stuff for a giveaway, but there's also the one next to the bins as well. All right, shall we go to the market, or would you find? That's a beetle. A beetle. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying our videos and would like to help support us making videos and content, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons, and we will see you all next week.